Hi there, Matt Wade here, and today I wanted to expand a bit on a previous video I posted about displaying your face and content simultaneously during a Microsoft Teams meeting. A number of comments popped up asking if you can specifically present PowerPoint slides and see presenter view in PowerPoint and show your camera's feed. Well, I'm sorry to say, yes, actually you totally can. So let's dive right in. All right, so this video is a special case of the earlier video where I talked about being able to present your webcam's video feed and content on your screen, whether side by side or newscaster style or however your little heart desires. So the goal today is to be able to present PowerPoint slides, share your webcam's video feed, and still be able to see and use PowerPoint's presenter view, which gives you previews of upcoming animations and slides, displays your slide notes, and lets you jump between slides. The solution can be done many ways and it boils down to this. You need two screens and you need a camera or a media app that one, can show your webcam's video feed and two, is able to have its window set to always on top so that the slides don't overtake the video window. Then you just share that screen in your Teams meeting. Heck, if you know how to do that already, you can just stop watching now. If you don't, that's what this video is for. The prerequisite for being able to do this, you need to be using two screens. Whether that's a laptop and a second monitor, or a desktop with two monitors, or even a laptop and a projector or a smart board or something else, it doesn't really matter. Incidentally, for some best practices on using two screens in a Teams meeting, see my recent video on that. The reason for that is presenter view in PowerPoint generally only shows when you have two screens going. It was always intended for a presenter at a lectern who needed to see notes and upcoming slides on screen one, you know, the laptop, while the audience sees screen two, the big screen behind them. But it's become that much more useful for those of us who are lucky enough to have two monitors. Following the main tip I mentioned in my video on using two screens in a Teams meeting, start up the slideshow and whichever screen shows the slides is the one that you wanna share. The other one is your safe space and should show presenter view. Close your slideshow for now, we'll come back to it later. So what you really need is a way to show your face on top of your slides. This works flawlessly with macOS using QuickTime Player. Simply open QuickTime, click File, New Movie Recording. You'll see your face looking back at you. Now all you have to do is click View, Float on Top. Launch your slideshow again, your face stays on top. Move it around, resize it, do with it what you will. When you're in your meeting, share this screen. As is typical with Mac, it just works. Now, Windows 10 was another story. There were a number of complaints from the last video about the built-in camera app in Windows 10. It has too much Chrome on it and it just gets in the way. Having done some investigating, I can't say that I disagree. Man, QuickTime, it just does it so well. Unfortunately, QuickTime is not available for Windows and hasn't been for years. But fear not, there is a way to do it almost as cleanly on Windows and with a built-in way to stay on top of PowerPoint to boot. Unlike my other video, this does require downloading extra software. However, this software is free and extremely well vetted and trustworthy. You wanna download VLC Media Player, which has been one of the best known open source media players for almost 20 years now. Once you've got the app downloaded, you're gonna to need to set up the connection to your webcam and also tweak some settings. I apologize now for the level of detail you need to get into, but there's not much of a way around it that I know of. Open VLC and click Media, Open Media Capture Device. From here, select your webcam in the Video Device dropdown. The video size needs to be 1920 by 1080. Use an X between the numbers. Then click Advanced Settings, update the picture aspect ratio to 16 by 9, use a colon between those numbers, then update the frame rate to 30. Click OK, then click the arrow next to Play and click Stream. Click through all the options. Once you see your face, you're good to go. Now, one issue you may face is the video is flipped horizontally, a mirror image. To fix this, go to Tools, Effects and Filters, or just type Control E, then click the Video Effects tab, then the Geometry tab. Check the Transform box. In the dropdown, select Flip Horizontally. Now, let's get the slides going. Oops, we forgot to keep the video on top. Click View Always on Top. 
Now, let's start the slides again. Perfect. Now I see me on top of the slides. The last issue I see here is all the buttons we have that we don't need. It's reminiscent of the Windows Camera app. Thankfully, you can hide all the buttons by going into minimal view mode by typing Control H. I can move the window around and resize not only at the start, but during the slides. I can also snap the windows side by side just for a throwback to the earlier video. All right, that was time consuming. And as far as I can tell, you have to do that every time you open up VLC player. I could see there being a way to save the settings. Admittedly, I didn't do any real testing or searching on that one, but it wasn't anything obvious to me. That said, this situation is also pretty unique and niche. So if you're looking to use it, you're likely as nitpicky and perfectionist as I am. So you're willing to put in the minute or so to get it up. And it really only takes a minute for a lot of gain. So I wouldn't complain too much. And now would be the time to share your screen in the Teams meeting. I've heard from a number of Windows users that if you're in the meeting already and try to open one of the camera apps, the camera app squawks and says there's no camera. It turns out Teams is just hogging the feed. Just disable the camera in Teams and restart VLC or the other camera app. Another issue I don't have on Mac. Amazing. If you present like this frequently, you might want to design your slides to have a blank space to account for your video size and locations so you're not constantly moving the window around. Take full advantage of the presenter view screen. Just because you have presenter view on the screen doesn't mean you can't move around to other apps on the screen, especially if you want to keep the Teams meeting window open on that screen so you can oversee participants and chat while you're presenting. Simply type Alt-Tab or Command-Tab on Mac to jump between apps. Unfortunately, on Mac, you'll notice the top toolbar pops up on top of your slides when you switch apps, but that's a small price to pay if you ask me. Like all the workarounds I've mentioned for Teams meetings, this one is not perfect. It takes a little thought, and especially on Windows, some time, investment, and practice, but it can make the difference between a sloppy, frustrating experience and a smoother, saner, even slick and professional one. Now, some sharp-minded viewers may remember an earlier video of mine about the best ways to present PowerPoint slides during a Teams meeting included an example where you can present a slide deck in a window mode while sharing just the PowerPoint window in the Teams meeting, then right click to get presenter view on your end while everyone in the meeting continues to see the slides. And you might be wondering if there's a way to share this sort of two-sided setup with the face where attendees see the slides and uh, you see presenter view and you still have the ability to share the camera app. I've done some testing and I'm pretty sure that's a big fat no, uh, but I'm certainly open to hearing if anybody else has been able to make that work. Well, that was an experience. Thanks for stretching my skills a bit and for making me dive back into Windows for the first time in a while. I seem to have returned injury free, save for the hair pulling when I wrote the script for this and found it took 87 words to cover the instructions on Mac OS where Windows required 625. Technically, brevity is not my strong suit, and that does include snark, but still, yay. One last thing, similar complaints were made about the built-in camera on Chrome OS, Chromebooks. Uh, VLC player is available for Chrome OS, but I don't have a way to test it out. I'm interested to know if the Chrome version of VLC can do the same thing that Windows can. I will attest that the Mac version of VLC is subpar compared to Windows, which makes me even more appreciative of QuickTime. If you're able to test that out on Chrome OS, please, please, please leave a comment with your findings. I'm sure a bunch of other people would love to know the results. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really hope this helps you and your presentations in Teams meetings. If you've tried this out and developed some tricks to improving it or figure 
figured out other ways to do this, perhaps easier ones, please, please, please comment below. Everyone can definitely benefit from some process improvement here, so share what you know. And uh, fingers crossed, Microsoft will make this totally moot soon enough by giving us a good slide video experience. Until then, as always, a like and subscribe is much appreciated. Happy dropping your beautiful face on top of your super awesome slides.